All right, let's do this, man. Pray, I've been, I've been waiting for this game since it was first announced. I'm a huge fan of the original game. I know it doesn't really have much to do with that, but the fact that they finally made this game is exciting. But I've never seen it done this way. They released a demo of the first hour of the game before the game even comes out. I've just never seen it done that way. That's That means they have a lot of faith in it. So um, what's cool is Bethesda came to me. I've been doing this seven years. And I have gotten offers to do sponsor videos all the time, and I, I never, I'm like, no, no thank you. Uh, I don't like being controlled and told what to do and everything. But they came to me and said, if I just do what I normally do, they would sponsor this video. So I agreed, and that is awesome of them to support YouTube and stuff during this time where it's kind of bad. So um, thank you for like so much to them, and thank you as my audience just for being... I don't know, so supportive of me uh, over the years. It, uh, se seven years going strong. I got a lot left in the tank. Hope to do this until I'm old, man, like 80. I'm going to be the old grandpa on YouTube. So I'm um, giving away two copies of this game, one for Xbox One, one for PS4. If you want a chance to win, just either like the video or leave a comment of when you found my channel. I'm actually going to give away some of whatever I make on this video to a charity. Uh, if you have suggestions, leave those below as well. Uh, I just, I don't know. I'm really excited for this opportunity. So, anyways, with that being said, guys, uh, if, I'm hoping this to show support to them for helping me and everything. Uh, that we can hopefully break 30,000 likes or somewhere around there just to kind of make this first video be strong. So, anyways, with that being long-winded, sorry about that. You guys the best, and let's get it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Oh wow, so the game just kind of begins. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Alright, first day on the job. So you've been given an objective. Let me go ahead and check this out. All right, so we picked up some stuff. Nice. You know what this... It kind of has a... I don't know what you want to really compare it to. Uh, but it... It feels a lot like Dishonored, for sure. Since I guess this might be made by the same people, possibly. Uh, I think it actually is. Even the way the objectives look, it kind of has that vibe, so... Let's kind of check around the area. Seems like a... Oh, look at this. Wait, so we, can, we, can we actually... Oh, it's jammed, really? My my own apartment door is jammed. That's just bad news bears right there. That's how you know it's going to be uh, a fun time. All right, congrats, Morgan. Einstein in under 10 minutes. Sounds like something at a Bioshock, you know? All right, here we go. Morning, miss you. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and head to the helicopter. I think so far it's uh, it plays really smooth. Somebody told me that there was a latency delay on the demo, but I don't feel it. I mean, it's like spot on, so maybe they fixed it. <laughs> I have no idea. But what I was gonna do is, since this is technically part one, uh, part two, I'll just keep going where I left off, and it'll probably just be like the full game. Uh, but I I'm looking forward to this series, so here we go. Make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Oh, that's nice. Trans Check it out. facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees. Clear skies all the way. The soundtrack is popping too, man. So they actually had their... It's like some Cinema 4D type of text, you know? This is like nothing like the first game. I think that's what's really cool about it is when I first saw it being made. Okay, yeah, this. That's a nice on. view on the bay there. 
Yeah, it's definitely the Dishonored people. Okay, nice. I can see it now. Just kind of soaking it all in. I think that as far as uh, the games that have come out this year, we've it's been a great year of 2017. Uh, just so far and I I'm I'm just excited. Thank you guys for just being the best audience ever All right, there it is pray nice I Don't know if this now it even though it is the first hour of the game I'm not sure if it's actually an hour or if it can be beat probably quicker But we are trying to get as much as I can into this first video uh, And then part two will just be uh, I guess when the full Here game are, comes up Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. I report to the testing center. I like this little device they have. Now hold on. Is that the thing that goes in your eye in the com I saw like commercial for it. Okay, I I think it is. Hello, Dr. Hugh. I'll check this thing out. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Interesting. Alright, let's go back Welcome. down. Morgan Yu, you have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. I'm just excited. You, you know what, like, the way this game starts is kind of cool because I thought we would just start out, you know, in space or whatever. Morgan, finally. Hey. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in Wu Mei. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. All right. Dr. Yu. All these vitals and stuff on the wall got me kind of nervous. All right, what is this? Testing rooms. Here we go. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. It's like I'm like getting some tests done before all this happens. You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. It's a little bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if this game has horror elements to it or not. I kind of feel like it does, just a tad bit. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Alright, let me look at just... I mean, there's nothing... I mean, I guess behind the chair, maybe, but what about right here? No, they'd still see you there. Um, we can let me just make sure. Alright, I think the chair is probably the best thing to do. Here we go, let me just get this thing going. I'm gonna stay, like, right here. <laughs> Has it been nine seconds? Any synaptic register at all? No? no? That's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. We're doing marvelous. Oh, what do we got here? Climb over using, okay. All right, here we go. For this test, 
Please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Thought there'd be only three, but it looks... Because I said, like, the three red dots on the wall. We've kind of completed everything, but here we are. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Are you planning a vacation? Go somewhere familiar you know, or try something new? Man, I gotta go somewhere new. Oh. Every 100% of the time. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Alright, you've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? I mean... Definitely not calm. What? No one has that right. I mean, I guess they kinda do. I don't- I'm, I'm gonna go with, uh, afraid. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. Wow. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. Uh, I, that's kind of tough because people get killed either way, so... I don't know, that's... Five people versus one, I mean... I don't know. I would, I, I guess, switch tracks? I don't know. You save more lives that way. Next. Alright, runaway train is bearing down a fight, but you're standing on the platform next to the enormously fat man. Uh, pushing him in the track will stop the train. Uh, no. That's ridiculous. Almost done. It's bearing down a fight, people tied to the track. You can stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Uh, you know what? I don't even know the people. I mean, like, I guess I would do nothing still? Even though jump on the tracks would be, like, the most noble superhero thing to do. I'm thinking about, like, real life. I wouldn't just jump out in the middle of a train. Interesting. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh my coffee. It's empty. Oh shit! What the hell? This ain't no test lab, baby. Oh, I'm dead. Are you bullshitting? Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Hold on, what? Is this the movie Groundhog Day? Edge of tomorrow, anything. All right, so now that we know what would happen, we get the suit and everything, do we have to do the tests again? That's a pretty badass way to start a game. Hey, right, let me grab some stuff. I'll read this stuff later. If you need to read it, just pause the screen, baby. I think we're good. What about this book? Encyclopedia of Food 
Science and cooking, nice. Is my door still jammed? Some eerie soundtrack, man. Oh yeah, something different. I'll take the wrench. Damn right I will. Hello, Morgan. It's time we Oh, spoke. that's cool. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. I break out new objective. Swing wrench. I mean, my first initial thought was to swing it back over here. What the hell? Hold on, what? Okay, I don't live in a nice apartment. I am a Tesla. Oh, wow. I'm like a clone or some shit. I don't know. It's like that movie Moon. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. I'm gonna take my time with this, cause this is, uh... I don't know, man. I missed that stuff back there, it really doesn't matter. I don't think you need to carry those. Oh, shit. Time to go. Dude, what was that noise? Wait a minute. None of this actually happened? Are you kidding? The helicopter and everything, wow. That's some bullshit. It really is! Right, I guess we're good. I need to change my sensitivity a little bit. Hold on, let me see. I don't have time to read this stuff right now. That soundtrack is popping. Hold on, let me see what this says. Oh, it's a medical kit, nice. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Oh, we're gonna run for it, guys. Alright, uh skill recorder, stage B control room, exit the lobby. We're getting out of here, so we're going straight. Unless it's closed off. I'll use the wrench. All net notes. Oh my goodness. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Guess I'll go ahead and take off. This is probably one of the most fascinating intros to a game I've played in a while. I was just about earlier to say, alright, play your way, experiment. Different approaches to overcome challenges enemies you can get. Interesting. So pretty much, just like Dishonored, where you can pretty much do anything you need to. To survive. Now I'm curious about all the abilities. I did see some gameplay a while back. I got to, I think I got to put on my channel, whatever. And I got to see some of the later stuff. What we got here? All right, workstations. Many Transtar employees have private workstations. Locked stations require password. Search the environment for clues. Use the hacking ability to bypass the login. Workstations may contain email files to download or special. Utilities. Alright. I think we're good. Oh no, we can go down a little bit. Not gonna worry about that. So right now we're trying to get past this little locked area, so what we need to do is find the passcode and everything else that goes with it. Hey, take that fish! That actually felt kinda nice. Hang on, let me break whatever. What is this? Harvest. Interesting. 
All right, what we got? Anything that... No, that's what we looked at earlier. It's gotta be like a... Oh, we got three emails here. Hold on. Oh, there's an access. Hold on, what was that? What was that last one? Get off me! Oh my goodness, man. All right, we're good. No, oh, get it off. Oh, goodness. All right, mini objects. Repair skills, repair hold down until the repair is complete. Okay, nice. So I don't have anything to really do with this, so. Yeah, I have to wait, basically. <laughs> All right, so, so far I can kind of see how the game's gonna play out. Is the thing real? That's actually kind of cool. What the hell are these things? Oh, a glue gun, or glue cannon. I heard about this. So this person was trying to kill that thing, I guess, and it killed him. Or killed them. Disables or immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames or temporarily stop electrical... Oh, I mean electric arcs. You can climb it as well. Nice. Okay. Go ahead and take. I got shotgun shells too. Let's get it. All right, guys. Kind of got used to the controls a little bit. So what you kind of want to do, you want to. Oh shit! Hang on. Let me get away from this together. Oh my goodness! Go go go! All right, favorite wills. That's exactly what I just did. All right. What you can do to heal up, I don't need to, but you just see the little quick buttons on the side, and if I get more weapons, I can actually assign them to quick slots. So. Go over here really quick. Oh, he stood up. Did you see that? No. How are they still alive? There we go. Nice. I just beat him to death. Perfect. All right. We're good to go. Before we go there, let me check over here really quick. Check out the mods. Uh, Revolutionary Transstar invention that allows you to learn new abilities and skills. Do do do. Okay, this is all making sense now. What is this? Increase the health 115, run sneak climb. Wow, that's so good for a first slot. Let me see what the other first slots are. Uh, lift heavy objects with ease and throw objects further. What is this one? Fix broken fabricate. Okay, yeah, I think we're good on that. Uh, I like this one because that seems really, really good. That seems almost too good, you know? Okay, that's the thing that goes in your eye. Oh, that looks rough. Oh, goodness. That looked like it hurt. Like, big time. Personnel who wish they had stronger, faster bodies at the moment. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. The hell was that thing? Where did it go? There, take that. Now oh, we're good. I'm gonna go right here because this is a uh, main lobby, it looks like. There we go. What happened to this guy? Ready for your first real view of the world? I love the searching ability. It definitely has a, a familiar vibe to it. We're in the main lobby right now. Oh, this is about to be bad. Hold on, let's go down here really quick. Let me check. Thought maybe that might give me some health, but I guess not. 
Well, the cool thing is you basically have a little quick cut. Um, I don't know what the L2, I think that gives you more shield. And then the top one, R2, gives you the uh, more health, basically. So, not really a fan of the glue gun just yet, but it might come in handy eventually. Definitely feels like when Bioshock first came out, it kind of has that familiar vibe. Careful. You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. Video file. All right. Exploration. Talos is open to explore. So you can basically go anywhere you want. For attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Guess I'll go this way. I mean, oh, never mind. Now, how did you get out of that? No way. These little mimic things are crazy, man. Right, let's go. Now, what is back there, I wonder? Let's go check it out, shall we? Like how everything just popped up. Well, hold on. Let me see what this does. Obviously, I don't have the permission, but yeah, okay, we're good. If you find the key card for it, I bet you there's like hidden stuff back there. That's kind of cool. The only thing I'm worried about is, since I'm probably going to play the full game, if, uh... Or I'm thinking about it, you know, like, I don't know if the progress I'm doing, everything right now, carries over. Those little things are so fast. I thought you could break that, but I guess not. So it's like I... Come here! Come here! Is there another one? We'll go ahead and break these. So if you like shot these on the wall and you, you basically can like climb up them. It's actually kind of cool. Poor Laura, man. Figured I'd make this first video kind of long. Uh, I don't know if it'll be the entire demo, but uh, I will definitely keep going right where I left off when the full game does come out. So, figured I would do it like that. There's a turret right there, really? How does that help me? Can I throw a phone out there? Let me see. Hang on. I do. So, I'm guessing the smart thing to do here is to use the glue gun and freeze it. I'm gonna put it over here. For now. Adjustment required. That's so sick. Kind of like guards me in a way, you know. And it, it already took. It already did work. Nice. All right, let me find the passcode really quick. Check out some documents, maybe. Enter password, hold on. The code to your office is 0451. Okay, yeah, 0451. Let's go ahead and enter that over here. 0451. Nice. Let's get it, guys. This is my office. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Oh, there's a note here, too. Alright, I got the plan you requested. It's... Okay, nice. Let me actually assign the pistol. Alright, it's already on the left assignment. So we got the uh, glue gun on the right. Go ahead and reload that just for safety precautions. Flashlights. The flashlight actually takes up a slot, but you can use it Pretty much anytime you need to. Interesting. I'm taking everything. We are stocking up, boys. <laughs> Let's get it. Wonder what the point of the silence on the pistol is, though. 
Alright, placing ingredients. Okay, nice. I don't have enough, it looks like. So we're gonna go back over here. Hold on, let me see what's down here. I just picked up something, but I guess it's not the same thing. Alright, yeah, we don't have enough for that yet. Here we go. That is a long password. Alright, we got uh, one utilities. Make sure you're all alone when you hit play. Alright, here we go. What? Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test fronts. But someone could just skip that part. Turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. So that's like a big Skype call that you can use this big glass and it shows you the entire other room. That's sick. I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Interesting. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. I think one of my favorite things about this game so far is, uh... The damn soundtrack is amazing. Alright, we're supposed to restore the Looking Glass. All right, so I thought that was the end of the demo for a minute because I got like a little prompt screen, but I think we can keep going. <laughs> I was hoping to keep going in this. Uh... Symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. All right, that's locked. So let's go over there. Try to get to that office. If I see any more of those mimic things, I'm just gonna drop this and let it wreak havoc. Yeah, I thought that was it for a minute. I was like, what? That's not an hour. I want to actually see more of this game. I'm like, let's get it. 1963, a top secret. 1963, 1963, a top secret Cold War negotiation. 1964, 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical. This is pretty badass. Look at this. The Trans Star Board of Direct 2030. Talos 1 becomes fully operational. Oh damn, John F. Kennedy. Nice. So it's like a little mini museum. Hold on, we got something right here that I can actually use. Nice. Let me check my skill points. I might have uh Do I have any I I have a several actually. Hold on. <laughs> Let me just uh see what I can do here. Increase damage with security weapons to 120%. And chance of crawl, oh, man. I'm having flashbacks. That crit hit chance, crit hit damage. All right, combat focus. Stealth will take long to detect you when you're sneaking or crawling. Increase your stamina to 125. Increases your health to 150. 
That seems like a really big jump. I'm gonna do this one. And now I guess I could look at some of the other brackets. Security just seems like overall one of the better ones, but I guarantee you this whole like scientist thing. Level one security, yeah, we might need that. Let's just see what some of these other ones do. Increase effectiveness of medkits by 300% hacking. I bet engineer might be the biggest one. And it even, I feel like it has about the same number of security, so. All right, recycling yield by 20%. Wrench attacks, that actually might come in handy. I don't know what to do here. Uh, Cause this one here require wrench attack still 50% more damage. That is a lot. I just, for some reason, I just can't not use these, you know? Yeah, let's get this one. That actually looks kind of nice. And then I'll use the first one, uh, lift heavy objects. I'll probably do that or this one right here. Let's go ahead. That seems like it might be important. Check out my inventory. What we got? Stuff I could probably put in the recycling bin whenever I need to. I think we're good to go. All right, combat focus enhances your overall abilities. How do I activate it? That is the question. So we get 10 seconds of this, nice. So basically you just hit uh, L2 to aim and it does it for you, so. All right, we're supposed to get all the way over to the workshop. Let me see where we're going. Figured that might do it. All right, we'll see, not accessible in the prey demo. Oh, okay. So we got as far as we could for this, so. All right, well, with that being said, guys, um, when we come back next time, I'll do the part two will be like the full game. And uh, from then, I will keep going with the story. So thank you so much for all the love and support. Uh, again, this has just been a really awesome experience just beginning to play this. So guys, that is it for the first part of the game. Um, I was gonna go further in this video, but it looks like you can't go any further since this is the start of the game it is a demo uh, when the game does come out I'll continue it but right now it even says you can't access it during the prey demo so thank you again for all love and support uh, again part two will be up whenever the game I guess the embargo for the official game does drop and yeah you guys are the best audience ever and take it easy